Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to bring you uh, one of our match in the uh, Inaki Cup. This is round 7. Uh, Yu Hong vs Daisuke. Uh, as you can see, they have actually very big difference in their rank as the Q Hong is a master rank and uh, Daisuke is in, I think, D. But I think both of them is doing very well in the tournament. So let's see what is our first match. <laughs> okay, uh, Elf Mirror. I think in the tournament this is like quite. It happened quite often because it's the of the is the, the the most popular deck. And uh, sorry because now uh no matter how you pack the game, if I'm not wrong, uh you don't need Thing you can see and so there is no way we can see the gas hand yet so yeah i think this is what side games might have to work with so yeah so dice game will be going first and we can see uh Du Hong have very good hand uh okay explorer for player i guess turn two is amazing uh, unfortunately, because I still can't find a very uh, effective way to actually block the oldest starting hand as well. Uh, because if I really want to make it as a stream, I will need to do that. As an turn three. Um, in the mirror, I think the one who go first will always have an advantage because the fair, either the fairies or all the followers they played will get the first have a chance to decide whether they want to go to the opponent phase or. Opponents, um, followers. So okay, you can see Daisuke actually just uh, play everything, and hopefully this is not a push out. Oh, I see. There's a high chance that this is actually a uh, mid range or hybrid elf in this case. So yeah, ancient elf is a very good counter play because he have to use his whole board to actually counter this. Uh, yeah, she's just stopped the attack by all by herself, and also he can get to reuse the Whisperer again, and this will make him easier to way to purge the uh, path to Pokemon. And yeah, once again, sorry, I'm using a Japanese version. So although they, I think they are using the English version, oh, this is a double justice. My goodness, so the double justice is going to take care of the ancient elf. I didn't expect this. And the uh, revenge. So now Hong get to play uh mostly uh niche. But I think this is not enough to stop the bleeding. There are a few choices and he can consider the elf elf yeah, evolve and um uh, a cute one. I think this is a uh, good long term because uh, opponent is low in hand and in mid game instead of having like ancient fair ancient elf into few other self it's actually better to have just one uh, very huge ancient elf in play before you are like pp7 so now the next turn in pp5 his play will be amazing because he can have a 6 7 or maybe a 8 9 Ancient Elf on the board, and I don't really see uh, Elf playing the the Dance of Death. So, oh my goodness! Okay, this might be. Wait, I, I don't really see the big difference there actually, because no matter which one it hits, the three one is going to be taken down. That I'm quite sure about that. The the one is most likely going to be taken now and then I do assume that he is going to evolve and go phase in this case since uh opponent is already so low in life loader or oh, he's still trading okay when he's only at like two cards in hand I, I do think it's a weird play though yeah I, I think he should just evolve and go phase and put and uh put one down to draw for maybe uh 11 and then this is just much more yeah it will be putting your opponent down to heaven okay. yeah so now uh 
Gohan will just get a uh, breath room, viewing room. And yeah, the, the baby may combo will uh, get rid of uh, two of the fairies, and uh, baby may elf can just evolve and take care of another one. We'll just leave, most of will just leave his board with one fairy in this case. I'm not really sure how he want to actually play this. Yeah, I think the, the baby may elf combo is like the best thing you can do in these boards. Still have chance, but the thing is, for Daisuke, he have a problem of hand size. He's running low in gas, although he haven't used any of his evolve yet. But to be honest, the Horse Craft Mirror, I don't think the evolve uh, matter too much. And but he have to actually use his card one day to just feel like just make it as a filter. I think yeah, this game is more or less over. In my opinion, though, and uh, it's very tough, it's very, very, very hard for him to actually come back because even if he like evolved the fairies and face, it's just not enough. And then, yeah, so now you play Asian Elf, he's also give uh, opponent a very strong idea that he don't have any other one cost card in hand, which uh, also open himself to. So maybe he have some, but I mean, he won't, he may won't just replay the fairy. Yeah, if he's not replaying the fairy, it means. Uh, he don't really have any one cost spell in hand. Okay, this amazing hand from uh Kyu Hong. Sorry, I don't really know how to pronounce your name. Feel free to just comment, <laughs> and uh, yeah, just let me know how to actually how, how to actually. Run. Okay, this is a hybrid uh elf as we see. Okay, um. Putting your Cynthia down to 2 3 is not a very good idea, but uh, opponent actually used his Sil uh, Sylvan Justice uh, twice in the early game and maybe once more in mid game. I think, yeah, at least twice. So, uh, just as long as it's there, it just provides a huge presence that your opponent have to deal with it. Okay, uh, so now it's a very good stage for Yu Hong, I guess, because the uh, opponent can only play the most. And then uh, the Cindy will be 6 1. Uh, yeah, he'll just get to trade with the Cindy anyway. So Kyu Hong using the emote skin. So let's see how it goes. Uh, as we can see, the Kyu Hong is still full of gas, and on uh, top there, another Cindy. My goodness. Uh, but I assume it's going to be uh, fair, very circles, fairy, and yeah. The uh, fairy will trade. Oh, he actually go for purge. It's quite new to because uh he won't get to purge directly though. And interesting view. Oh, and this marriage, brutal. Yeah, I think the image just turned the whole tie. Uh, yeah. In nice game. Oh, yeah, he can just have like millions way to actually activate the. Oh, this is a good idea that he's actually still playing the Hong Homecoming. Yeah, a lot of people actually forget about this card. But he actually is super powerful against those uh, mid range deck. But it just buys you so much time. But I don't think this is a bot state that you want to use Homecoming against with. Uh, it. Yeah, we we'll actually add it toughness. Yeah, push will be more than enough when you have like 13 life total, I guess. Um, since you for... only have 11 cards in the deck. Oh, actually, I won't play any play though, but well. Yeah, I, I was... It's me, I was... I will still just play the... Elder Fate, I guess. Or I will just play... <laughs> Uh, these, yeah, just because what you need is actually just to get extra cards in the period. Oh, you don't have enough cards, yeah. You have to play the, the outer feet. So, I think I'll still play the outer feet. Bring 7 cards is fine because I don't see how he actually survived. Because is it even a uh, fairy beast won't be enough to give you enough life, overcome the purge. 
since you have so little cards in hand. Yeah, so, okay, both players actually feature some uh, very interesting cards, but I think this is the end of the game most likely. I, I don't see how the SK can win this. Uh, yeah, the... the Duhong is just going to play a TI and turn. And this should be enough to close the game. Yeah, he, he don't even need to attack, he just end turn, get push through everything. And there's no way you can deal 10 damage with just one card in hand. So we have to congrats uh, Yu Hong for his first win. So now game two uh So now we get to see the second deck of Duong and he's actually playing <laughs> craft. So his lease will be really close to mine actually. Yeah. And for those players, he's thinking like, uh, I get the spec uh, before the final round uh, means that I know what they are playing, so it might be unfair in the last uh, challenge match between uh, me and uh, players, but no worries, I would, before I start the, the last match, I will uh, review the deck list, which is actually not mine as well. So, yeah, if you actually go deep into the all the walkthroughs and those you get to see the deck list and for some players might think you very it's very familiar. And that will be the deck list. Uh, and what the deck list that I'll be using will be the Rizzles uh Rich Tournament list. Uh the the elf uh, yeah I mean after the after the rage. But uh, it's the same two class that choose is the uh, Dimension Shield Witch and the uh, Push out. Okay, so now back to the match. Uh, Dice K is going first. And some trade have been done. As you can see from the lock. Yeah, the magic missile is fired. Uh, trade one of the fairies come from the fairy circles. And now uh, Dice K is actually using the guidance to get back his fairy and replay it again. Uh, I do assume this looks really really bad for him. Since he look, he, for me he looks like he's digging for some token generator in this case. So uh, now you see he's using the charge to charge fire change and now fire, cha fire chain is in 5 which is usually more than enough when you are playing against uh, Wish and this is a very interesting uh, decision I think because he can actually just charge the draw spell instead Oh, with the junk uh, golem generator, uh, now I think this might be the, the game AI new uh, dimension shift list, or maybe he bought a bit, I'm not really sure about that. Uh, so, oh, you see, the fire chain will deal with the 4 5 ancient L. So, the 4 5 ancient L is the 4, it's not as powerful as it is this in the 3, I guess, and this is one of the reasons why. Uh, yeah, the runecraft is taking advantage now because the second fire chain is in hand and growing while have like almost uh, all the answer he needs. The only thing is he need to get his uh, dimension shift as soon as possible since he don't have Merlin and dimension shift in hand. Uh, but this will hurt him a lot because he just lose a lot of cards out of this, I guess. Uh, how much is the fire chain now? One. Okay. 
Okay, this is a bit tricky because if I were him, what I do is to draw. I will definitely draw the one card. But uh, yeah, just get rid of oh, just get rid of two baby elf and uh, yeah, just get rid of every day, every everyone. Yeah, and don't play the zero cost uh, fate guidance when uh, you have no PP left because this means that what you draw, the next card that you draw uh, from your turn will not get a uh, spell boost. This is a very correct play from Q Hong, what you expect from <laughs> Master Ring player, I guess. But yeah, he... Golem, uh, you just get a uh, Conjuring Golem, it doesn't really affect a lot. But yeah, now he get Merlin. I assume to see him playing Merlin and evolve to just find a DS. Unfortunately, he get a Wind Blast instead. He really need the, the DS as soon as possible. Although he's actually controlling it very, very well, all under his, uh, all under his favors. Okay, uh, I do assume that he will draw and play the Jung uh, the Jung Golem. Oh, he played a jungle golem first instead of draw first, but I don't think I don't think it actually matters. Since uh yeah. Okay, so this will be a very very tough game for the SK to be honest. Uh because you just lose a lot of tempo in uh, the two fire chain and just so big breaking. Uh yeah, it's weird. He destroy his uh, ancient elf and also four of his minions in, a same, in like uh, the turn before they actually deal damage. So as you can see, the the fourteen, the six damage deal, uh, four of them was for the uh, rhinoceros. It's a bit tough, especially when the opponent have a zero two in the field. Okay. He didn't play anything and he's passed his turn. So this is this become very interesting now. Yeah, I do assume that he's gonna play the golem and then he's gonna bounce the amulet. But well, he's gonna draw first. Uh, I will bounce the amulet also if I since that's a very good video for you to do. Yeah, he's charging his uh, dimension ship as uh, expected. So I think he should be able to combo off in like two to three turns. Uh, okay, he's evolving his young golem to attack phase. Yeah, he need to put up some pressure because he only have one dimension ship in play. So the more damage he can deal before he try to combo off will just reduce the required uh, damage the turn after uh, during the extra turn. So. I do think this is a very good play because the two four is so hard to deal with by L. Because most of their followers is just one one, and even they evolve, they cannot get rid of this. I think I see the same problem uh, as last game. Is last game actually uh, didn't evolve uh, in the mid game, so uh, he actually make uh, Q Hong easier to get rid of uh, his minion, and then and now. Uh, Kyong is just going to take over the game. And yeah, this evolve is really back breaking. Uh, one spell boost. Trade with your 6 4. Deal 3 damage to your Tia, bounce your fairy back to hand. Both, both your fairy bounce to hand, and then he will just play a zero cost. Uh, very, very big. Uh, win prior. So. Uh, this, this is real bad working, I think. It's quite unfortunate for Daisuke because he didn't really get um, what he need. As you can see, his token generator doesn't really come that often as uh, how mid-range uh, health should go. This is also one of the reasons why I personally prefer Perch Elf than uh, Perch Elf because you really weak and hit the opponent both wipe and uh, in terms of uh, flexibilities and um, big games I think both, uh, yeah, Perch Elf is like, much better especially because of the life gain 
that it provides just makes you like totally ahead in the aggro matchup. It's a bit late. Unless he can actually come out with something very crazy. Uh, I do see uh, Kyu Hong ending the game next turn actually. So he really needs to come out with something very crazy now. A Roach, not really enough. Oh yeah, the Tia is good. Uh, yeah, the Tia will attack. Uh, the E will attack the 0-2, the 4-5 will attack the 4-3. So he can actually just keep his 6-6 shield. And unfortunate. But unfortunate for him, um, Yu Hong just has the exact uh, answer he needs for this, so it's not enough. <laughs> Let's stop that. Yeah, I think he can just charge and then uh, play both them destroyer, and then I think that should be the game. Yeah, the when you are doing the when you are playing the message shift, which this uh this three is ten. Play this. This both get spell boost, and this got charged two more times. Which means you get one extra spell. Uh, you, you got uh, you will be cost down one less. So once I see this, I know that you can actually just play this to charge the dimension shift, and you can get to play all of them distance. Even with just six uh six PP, because this will go down to, to to two, and this will go down to four, and then. But he choose a different way. Uh. Yeah, it might still work because as long as the spell that you are playing is 2 or less and then both of them will just produce by 1 so it will just remain at the same cost and now if you are playing a 1 cost spell it will just reduce the total cost of them by 1 as well yeah so I, I do think I do hope that uh, it helps your decision making uh, next time onwards yeah I think she should, she should just play the dimension shift and both flame destroyer the 14 damage should be more than enough to end the game here Oh okay, he actually decide to open a window for his opponent and actually this is very dangerous. Uh, he can just play both of them and then uh, he should just play the dimension shift, play both flame destroyer and then um, the next turn when both flame destroyer can attack only he use the spell to remove the E. And then he both the flame destroyer will just enter the face and he will win the game. Uh, yeah I think he is like Misclick or something. Yeah, I do assume this might be a mistake or something. Uh, he just opened a window with his opponent because he was just down to 9 and then he want, if he have a roach with 1 guidance, he, uh, most likely the opponent is going to take the window and win the game. Uh, yeah, now... Yeah, he should just play the, the flame destroyer. Last turn, but now it's a bit... Yet, because now he in his hand don't really have any um, damage dealing spells. Oh, oh another play miss. Uh, he should just play the flame destroyer instead of the, the double golem because the if you play the third destroyer, the third destroyer is going to be just enough to take. Yeah, so now uh, once again he got himself back into a very weird position stand. Yeah, he just cannot close the game. <laughs> okay, uh, I think maybe they are a bit nervous in the tournament like this. They might want to get used to it. Yeah, so this is really dangerous for Yu Hong. He should have won the game. But now he put himself down to a spot that he just died to a single roach. Uh, it's quite weird for <laughs> me. Actually, he should have won like two turns ago. <laughs> it it becomes very weird now because uh, Daisuke just get a chance to. Yeah, he just need one ancient elf and one. I think he just need one ancient elf and one roach. He should. Yeah. But since he's not going to face. Or oh, he just need roach, guidance, and. Uh, Two cards that he can play will be enough as well. Yeah, because he have the evolve. So yeah, he just need two spells plus. Oh no, it's not enough, unfortunately. Well, congrats for Q. <laughs> I think he's a bit nervous. I I don't I don't think 
I think either he's a bit, he's a bit nervous or either he's a misclick. Otherwise, <laughs> the match should have been you know, for like thousands. Just... Okay, uh, yeah, Daisuke concede. Uh, good play for both players. I mean, yeah, nervous and uh, maybe misclicks happens. And really, uh, and since uh, Daisuke is playing uh, the Fairy Beast, I do think he's actually playing uh, Perch instead of mid range, but uh, I mean hybrid instead of mid range, but yeah. Unfortunate. So now uh, we will be going, moving to our next match, and I will see you later.